All right, so take a moment, try this problem out. Press play and we'll solve it together. All right, they want us to solve for x. And in a problem like this, you've got x in your denominator. Usually my first step is to multiply everything by the least common denominator, which is 3 times x. Because if we do this, watch what happens. 3x times 1 over x will be our first multiplication. And then we have minus 3x times 1 over 3. And then we have, finally, 3x times negative 1 over 3x. Now, I don't usually write this step out, but it helps us see that multiplying by the least common denominator will cancel out so much for us, right? x divided by x, 3 divided by 3, and 3x over 3x. And what's left is just 3 times 1, 3, minus x times 1, x equals negative 1. Okay, so I add x to both sides, and then I add 1 to both sides, and I get x equals 4. What I would check, though, always is, to, is especially when you have x in a denominator or a square root, check it. Make sure it's not extraneous. Extraneous essentially means a false solution. So we have 1 over 4 minus 1 over 3, and that's equal to, let's see, those are twelfths now, 3 twelfths minus 4 twelfths. And that's negative 1 twelfth. Does that equal the right side of the equation if you plug in 4? It does, right? Negative 1 over 3 times 4 is negative 1 twelfth, which is what we have right here. So we know it's not extraneous. All right, I hope that helps.